soccer fields are located on the streets of Donaghy and Dave Ward. Which always makes the common girls dollars all populated. Cut it short, y'all just that bad. This is where our soccer boys and girls tear it up if you want to come watch them during the fall. Also, we have track runners. See them practicing. They're getting ready for this upcoming spring. Oh, yeah. Over here, we have the intramural field. I don't know if you've been to a game, but it's very nice. In front of me, we have the softball fields where the softball girls take place. And um, some extra softball fields. So, what do you think track is interesting? Well, track, I've been running this since I was in grade 7. And, you know, being a champion from where I'm from, it's fun to me, you know. It's fun to me always winning and stuff, so having competition on the next level at college, it's going to be fun. I'm going to try to make my name myself on the college scene. What's your favorite event? The 800. Well, do you do a bit higher? Nah, they try to make me do the 1500, but I don't like that. Here we have our volleyball girls warming up and getting ready for a match. Typically, that number is somewhere between uh, 16 and 24. You know, each year can vary depending on the size of your senior class, the amount of attrition you may have, the kids not coming back, or the ask not to come back. You know, so uh, typically, from a scholarship standpoint, it's somewhere between 16 and 24. In a typical freshman class, scholarship and non scholarship is about 32 to 35 kids. Yeah, um, how how do you think is the best way for y'all players to get bigger and stronger? You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Uh, we supplement our players in the off season with uh, chocolate milk. We require them to go to breakfast. Uh, we require them to live on campus for two years, which means they can get uh, scholarship players get an unlimited food and meal plan, and uh, we require off-campus players to come in, and uh, they have to go to breakfast as well. So you got to eat, and then of course we lift and uh, train uh, 10 months out of the year. Yeah. Winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while, and you don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. You gotta play with your heart, with every ounce of fiber in your body. I've never known a man worth the salt who deep down in his heart didn't appreciate the grind, the discipline, and to win, and to win, and to win.
Yes!